Hi, welcome to Kindred Spirit Readings. Let's begin, Cancer. This week, there is a feeling of completion. I want to say at the same time, you're really finding it difficult to come to completion or there is something about weighing out your options, coming to a solution regarding... Uh, another person, your friendship, relationship with this other person, uh, they are a female. They are female. And this won't be easy, but it may trigger a feeling in you to want to begin something or, or begin something new or weigh out other options for yourself, uh, for your own uh, health and well-being. Uh, because life has been hard. You still manage to come out on top. There's no doubt about that. But I am seeing that you're giving your best shot, best shot to stay alive. Now, whether this means literally or metaphorically, take that as how, however it translates to you. I am seeing a lot of nostalgia coming through for you this week. I am seeing that regardless of whatever it is that you're doing, you refuse to stop. So there could be this could be conflicting uh, in, in many ways. I am seeing that your health is struggling a hell of a lot. So there is that to take care of. And you've really got to, when it comes to your health, I'm seeing that you could be missing out on something or missing something. Uh, that This could be details, paperwork, something somebody said. And you may have just missed out on that, that one little piece of information or whatever the case may be for you at the time where you... You know, and it could be one of the most important parts to what you needed at the time, what you needed to know, or what you needed to, you know, whatever it is in, in you know, however that translates for you at, at, in your situation. Um, but I'm also seeing that you're associating with emotions, um, and this has a lot to do with other. Uh, fellow Cancerians, uh, Pisceans, you've got a lot of involvement with a lot of the, the water signs, so Pisces, Scorpio, as well as your fellow sign Cancer. Uh, a lot of this is about feelings, uh, which you must own, and, and, and this is coming through uh, very strongly. You're stating your truth this week. Uh, you're you're seeing a relationship positively evolve uh, this week as well, there is good and there is bad that, that comes with a lot of your relationships. You may even be receiving emails, phone calls uh, from loads of people, not just one or two, but there are lots of people coming in for you that you may not have heard from for, let's say, anywhere up to eight months. And all of a sudden they're reappearing in your life and they're asking to meet up and you're kind of shocked to begin with because it's been so long. So what's uh, been going on since... I saw you, you know, eight months ago. It's 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 really going to shake you, uh, rattle you a little. But it, it's definitely not going to surprise you if that makes any sense. Now you're really discussing a lot of exclusivity uh, with a romantic partner. If you are seeing someone, this is definitely going to be the topic of conversation of for this week anyway uh so definitely a lot to consider in terms of your relationships i see a lot of expressing the feelings um a lot of if a lot of you um expressing how you feel your wants your desires your needs this is all really rather important to you but you're speaking your truth regardless uh thank you cancer